All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be tackling this glitch animation. It is all done procedurally. If you wanna download this exact scene file, you can get this node set up. I'll be providing that for a dollar on Gumroad. If you're on the Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. And a heads up on the Patreon, I just released a exclusive tutorial on how to make this lava shader. So you can go check that out if you're on the Patreon or if you're not on the Patreon, the link is in the description. If you'd like to support the tutorials and get a lot of other assets and tutorials, you can go check that out. So this works best on a plane, but you can really do whatever you want. I'm just going to hit S5 and then I'm going to hit Control A and apply scale. Yeah, you can do this on any uh, model, but a plane works the best. So I'm going to hit the tilde key, go to the top, and just go ahead and set my camera up to do this. So let's go ahead, click on the plane, jump to the shading tab here, and let's start shading. Uh, we're going to be using Eevee because this does not require realism. So we're going to be cutting those corners. So we're gonna be eliminating that render time and using Eevee. I'm gonna kill Bloom for now, but you will definitely need Bloom, Amp Occlusion, Screen Space Reflections, all that stuff. So these are just my default settings. You may not need Screen Space Reflections. Nothing's reflecting, but Bloom is definitely a necessity. But we're gonna kill that for now. And let's hit Z and Rendered, and let's click New. So let's delete the default principled shader and let's add an Emission shader and a Transparent shader. So we did the Transparent BSDF. Let's take these, get a mix shader, and plug the surface right there and these two shaders into the two sockets. Now let's tell it where to go with a color ramp and a brick texture. So we'll plug the color ramp right here and let's get a brick texture. So we got the brick and plug that right into the color ramp. And before we do anything, let's add a mapping node and a texture coordinate. So let's get the object node here and the vector into the vector. So now that we have this really, really small, let's put the scale at say one. Now we have this. So if we take our color ramp here and just play with it this direction, these guys do that and that's what we're looking for. So you just get some randomization there. And just before we go any further, let's go to the material settings here. We need to activate this transparent no node. So go to the settings here, right here in settings, right here, blend mode, click alpha clip. And now we have transparency. So, and that of course eliminates some of those, but that's completely fine. We can start playing with scale, the brick width here, the row height, and get some interesting looking glitch bars, but these don't look like glitch gar bars. Let's take a brick texture, shift D and duplicate it. Let's uh, highlight everything and hit G to give us some more space because we need to add a mix RGB to combine these two. So now let's make turn this mix to overlay and let's plug the vector here and let's put the color into the color too. Now nothing's happening, they're exactly the same. Once I play with scale, you can start seeing them sort of interact together. And let's say play with the brick width, just getting different variations in the look of the glitch so we can play with brick height just start playing with how you want your glitches to look um, these still look very very bricky so what I'm gonna do first off is start coloring this so let's just take another color ramp and take the overlay here plug that into this color ramp plug that into the color here now nothing's gonna happen yet so let's add color so let's bring this all the way up and let's just add RGB sort of coloring so we're just gonna RGB of course, you can do any color you'd like. I just like to keep it kind of real looking. So we're going to do red, blue, and green to make it look digital. And green over here. Now, to make them not sort of mix color, we need to make the, the uh, color ramp constant. So once we do that, we can start playing with this stuff here. Maybe bring in the blue and just like that. And just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and add bloom back in. So it does work. We do have some light going on. Let's eliminate the bloom for now. And let's go back. And now let's add another layer of glitch effect. So let's add a Voronoi. Now let's take this Voronoi texture and plug it in here. And we do that. Absolutely no glitch look. First, let's add a mix RGB so we can tell how much of this Voronoi texture to use. Plug the object socket here and bring it all the way back. So right now, we're getting this. We don't want that. Change intensity to cells. Change and change closest to second closest and change distance to Chebby Chep. And when that happens, we get glitching. 
Let's change the scale to two, maybe one. So now we get better glitch looks. So more around the lines of this. So I'm gonna play around with the scale of the brick width on both of them until I get something that I wanna that I like to look at. So just go back and play with the row height and the row width until you like seeing the different effects that it gives you. And then let's move on to animation. All right, so these are the glitch bars that I'm going with. I'm a huge fan of how this looks. Let's go ahead and move on to animation. And so to do that, we need to change our keyframe interpolation. So go to F Edit Preferences right on here on Animation. We're going to change your default interpolation to Constant. So, and I'll tell you why to do that in a minute. So, we're going to be animating the Y axis. So, I'm going to bring up my timeline right down here and switch over here to timeline. I'm going to give my I'm going to give myself 120 frames. Well, let's go 80. Oh, you would want to make this uh, longer just uh, to make it less repetitive, but this is just to show you guys how to do it. Um, so yeah, let's start doing this on the Y axis. So what, we can, what we're going to do is hit right click, insert keyframe. We're going to click on the node and make sure we can see that right down here we have a keyframe. Click the very end and let's go down fairly far and insert keyframe. So now we have this. If I just press play, nothing happens until the very last frame. That's the constant keyframe interpolation. It doesn't smoothly go, it just immediately goes to the other one. So to play with this, let's go to the animation tab here. We'll go up to rendered and I'm gonna give myself some space for the graph editor that we're gonna pull up. So click right here and we're gonna go to the graph editor. We're gonna pull this over and we're gonna add a modifier, the noise modifier. Make sure that when you, if you can't see anything, go back to your shading tab, click on the mapping node, then go back to shading. So now that you can see, if we take off, you can just see that's the linear keyframe. But if you add noise, it does this. So now you can see it's starting to mess with itself. So what we can do is bring up the strength here and bring the scale down. We want it to be super tight, right around there. And you can see we start to get a pretty glitchy animation we can play with phase till we get some really cool effects that we want. So now we're starting to get some real cool glitches. So let's go back to the shading tab and we need to go back here and edit preferences and change our constant to change constant to linear here. So we can use a different keyframe interpolation. So we're going to change scale and bring it all the way up. So we'll glitch the scale as well. So let's bring it down to maybe around here. Start there, insert keyframe, go to the very end. And let's actually randomize this. So we're gonna insert the keyframe here, maybe go to here, bring the scale all the way up to here, playing around, and then bring the scale up. So we just want basically randomization here on our animation so you get these crazy glitchy basic animation. So now we could take that, add a noise modifier to it, bring up the scale, the strength bring down the scale and now we have we have glitches so this is the basic animation I would go back and improve the way it looks uh, there's some minor things you can do just visually but that's up to you it's all subjective things but this is definitely a glitch you can have some fun with it add it to different models and have a lot of fun and thanks for watching